Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today I'm going to be talking about a book. I don't know when this book came out and I realise that when I do reviews on this channel it's probably not going to be like a recent book, it's just going to be like, you know, a book that made me feel something strongly and I need to talk about it. So this book is called Showstopper. I'll put a picture of it here somewhere. It's by Hayley Barker. And this book was honestly just an impulse purchase. I saw it on the shelves in WH Smith, so I was like, oh, shiny, I need that. Like the little like, book dragon inside me saw the sparkle, I was like, you know, give it to me. And I couldn't leave it behind. But as soon as I got home, I went on Goodreads and saw that to my favourite blogger, Paper Fury, left it a bad review, and dial it aside, instantly regretting my choice. So this book took me eight days to read, and as someone who usually devours books in like an afternoon or so, that basically shows, you know, I didn't quite enjoy it. I felt the story was quite slow. It took me like three days and a hundred or so pages to get into the book. And, you know, I think the plot dragged through all the boring parts and rushed through all the parts that could have been quite interesting. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the lack of world building this book seems to have. We never find out why the world is this way. And I don't know if it's a spoiler, but I'll just say that, you know, this is one of the books where basically black people and white people are separated and whites are superior and blacks are, like, unworthy. <laughs> but we never find out why this is the case. Especially, you know, <laughs> we get told that the pures, the white people, are, you know, mindlessly evil and the dregs who are the black people, or the pe any people of colour, I think. I think there's not just black people, to be honest. So the dregs are like nice and misunderstood, the white people are pure and evil. But there's no explanation why this is the case, or why they're two opposite ends of the spectrum. And also the only good pure happens to be this like naive white boy who has a love interest and therefore has to save everyone. So the next point is insta-love, and I'm going to read you a little quote I found. And on my Goodreads, if you read like my updates for when I was reading this book, I mentioned it there. Three days ago I hadn't even met him, but now I'd already die a hundred deaths to him. So as soon as I got to this line, this was three quarters into the book, and I realised that this summed up pretty much every, well, not every, but a lot of the issues I had with the book. The girl, I can't even remember her name anymore, she met the guy, whose name I also can't remember, three days ago at this point in the book three quarters of the way. So this book takes place like over less than a week. She met him three days ago and she hated him for two of those days. But she's already like, you know, I'm about to get killed so I'm in love with him. And there's a point, she's literally going out to perform in the circus and she's about to literally get murdered. And she's more concerned about, you know, looking good for him than like, oh you know, I should probably save myself. The next point is, you know, senseless violence and this very unbelievable villain. I can understand that violence would fit into a story like this, as it's set in what's basically a slave circus run by a demonic ringmaster, but I don't understand how the plot ended up in a place where it can only progress if something violent happens. The guy who's supposed to be the villain of the book, he's more of like a cartoon villain. He just murders people to show off his power. I mean, he's like the kind of guy who does something bad and he's like in the corner cackling and rubbing his fingers together. That's what he reminds me of. So instead of being someone who's like fully fleshed out and interesting and believable and has motives to justify or at least explain his actions, I found that I was more interested in the story that like the female character was telling about his backstory. Like all the people at the circus know his backstory and they're telling it and I was a lot more interested in that than the guy's current story. And the final point I'm going to talk about is the setting. I think it's the one thing I did enjoy about this book, but not because of the book. I love circuses. This book is set in a circus. And the potential a circus has as a setting is great. And I was really kind of intrigued by the twists that this book put on the circus location. But after reading Caraval, only two books before, this circus felt more like a caricature, like training behind something I kind of consider to be a masterpiece. I did like it, but there's still things I'll change personally, but I did like the circus. If you take out the murder, it was interesting. 
and I liked it. So in conclusion, the cover is beautiful and probably my favourite thing about this book. The ideas had a lot of potential but I just wasn't invested in how they were executed. And on Goodreads I gave this 2 out of 5 stars, which I think is mainly just for the location. I might drop it down to 1 star. So thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!